All right, back at it again. This thing's cleaned up. We've got some more tools. That's cooled off a little bit, so we're gonna burn a piss out of it when we get near it. Ow. All right, major pain in the butt over here. Okay, I went and got my heel coils. I got some set screws here to put back in, depending on what depth I need. So, I'm not sure what came out. Looks like the short ones came out. These are longer ones. Those are the two I brought before, which is the same length as his, looks like. So these ones are a little bit longer, so maybe we'll go back and get the short ones. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these right now. Because of that problem when they break. I don't know why these are breaking off, but they're breaking. And obviously they're too hard to get out when they're broken. So I'm thinking about maybe cutting some bolts off and just using the damn threads off the bolt. And thread them in there and call them done. So I might do that. That way when they break, at least you can drill the damn things out. Okay, so this one here, we obviously got some major issues with it. And more than we had before because now it's, I don't know. I don't know, it can be worse than it was before. I'm not sure. You know, all I can do is try to drill this thing out. It's going to cut into the aluminum. And when you get big enough, it should be able to maybe get it to fall out. I don't know. You're pretty much destroying everything when you're doing it this way. I don't know. It's a pain in the ass. All right, we're going to go back to doing drills over here. We're going to figure out what we're going to destroy first. I'm thinking my favorite one is this one here. Oh, it's already gone. Perfect. So... I'm thinking if I go in there sideways like that, try to knock some of that off. It's going to V this out big time over here, but maybe it'll knock some of this crap out of here. All right, obviously, that needs a little sharpening. There's nothing left of it. So, sharpen time. All right, so with this much sharpening, we're going to need some water. Get a water cool. Water cool. Alright. Fun, fun day. We have a little water left. Yeah, we got indoor plumbing around here. Actually, we do, but I'm gonna use my water jug anyway. Screw it. That ought to be enough. Yeah, that's why you have indoor water. Okay. I might have put too much in. I'm waiting to rake my knee across there. I haven't done it yet. Okay, we're going to put the water right up here so we get all this nice and wet up here. Alright, so we're going to go in here. We're going to grind the snot out of this thing until it looks like they got a cutting edge. So it helps to learn how to do good sharpening drills and stuff like that. If you can sharpen a drill, you can sharpen a bit. You can sharpen just about anything if you can do that. So it's kind of an important skill to learn. So I get this down here about here. See, and I can see both. Kind of. You no, know, not really. Go up higher. Bang. So, like, so you got to find out what this cutting edge is, leaning edge. You turn it like this so it's parallel to the surface. You hold it at the angle you want. You can be at that angle. This doesn't work. 90 degrees doesn't work very good either. You need to be flatter, like 130. And then you want to hold it at a slight pitch so that it doesn't undercut underneath instead of being straight. So that's how you do it. because that will destroy the temper, the heat treat. Too flat, you more of an angle, but in my case, flat might be good. I'm going to tear the stuff out of it. That's broken off all the way to there, so there's no cutting edge right now. And 
this one's all broken away also. This is going to cut me up over there either. Wonderful. downhill angle means you got some clearance and you got more over there. If that was straight or high it would drag on the back and not cut on the front. So it'd be like dragging a bumper on the ground when you're trying to drive your car. It just doesn't work very well. And this here is just a straight rub mark. So we have to cut it. It's not going to cut in with the squat. And we're trying to knock out broken chips, not really remove material. So the side edge here won't cut very much but it will still dig into the aluminum because it's soft. So this is more of a, we're trying to rip material out, try sharpening job. But it will also cut too. All right, so let's go over here and see what we can do. Garbage cans in the way. They're out of the way. Let's see, there's a drill motor. Tripod in the way, everything's in the way. That's about normal. All right, let's get back over here. So we're gonna try to get that thing to come out of there somehow. Now this is carbide. If I go after this, it'll just snap and break off. This won't break very easily. It'll break, but it takes more effort. It's not as brittle. Okay, now if you just go in straight, it's going to just want to cut the aluminum. So I'm going to go to an angle trying to drill into it. So let's see if we can uh, somehow wad that up. I got a fucking tranny house on my way. No room for my feet. One thing around here, you got limited space back here, see? Feet are in the way. Everything's in the way back behind me, see? Alright. So, we're gonna try to do something here. Fucking transfer in my way. All right, this might want to grab too, so we don't know what it's going to do. Let's dig it in. It's doing a lot of rubbing, but I'm not sure about how much it's removing. It looks like it is taking out material though. You see how it's cutting the top edge out, which is what I'm trying to do. So maybe a little more going this way. I'm cutting at this angle. I need to go up a little higher. But it is cutting out the material, which is good. I'm surprised the hard stuff is coming out. That's good. I like that. That's good. Keep it up. Good job of taking crap out. I think it's just cutting more down than up. It looks like it might be cutting in there, but it's really hard to tell. It's just a big mess in there. It's actually working better than I thought it was going to work. I figured this bit would be gone about five times already. Oh, just 
dug in. It's good. Alright, went all the way through. And there's our first interruption. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we're back again. Oh. Okay, let's see what the hell we got in here. Hey, the light went off. Can't see shit. Light's on. Still can't see shit. Alright, so anyway, there's a hole all the way in there now. I'm not sure where I'm at depth-wise. If it dropped a bunch, stayed up high. I guess it dropped quite a bit. So I'm going to try to knock this down a little bit and see what do we have. So I got me a little punch here. I'm going to try to knock the thread out here. And if we can let it, we might be able to curl it up and pull it out. And then we'll just have to deal with whatever's left over for the hole. Whatever that's going to be. We don't know yet. But, uh, we'll see. Punch. So go down it's easier easier to beat down than up right that's working really well I like that I'm gonna break for once look at how nice that is that thing just pulled right on down like it's wanted to come out of there look at that it's even loose oh geez I was not expecting that at all okay this is probably not the right tool to be using for that I figured it would be that easy, so I didn't bring any pliers. And the other problem, I think my needle nose are missing. Let's see, we needle nose in here. Oh, I wish I got some needle nose in here. Bitching. Okay. Alright, we're going to beat that back down. I'm going to try to unscrew that sucker. in there and see if we can get a hold of it, bite on it anywhere. Not really. It moves and wiggles but it ain't coming out. And these pliers are not good enough to do this. With. These pliers are worn out. Alright, oh, next problem. Okay, these pliers are worn out. Let's see, they sent me some pliers, okay? Yes, they did. All right, tool tab. Those guys right there. Yeah, I didn't know what I was going to use these, so I guess I found a way to use them now. Yeah, figures I can't take them out like that. I need two hands. Oh, that didn't work very well. Yeah. Breaking stuff. Oh, I'm breaking junk. Okay, let's see if this one's coming apart. There. Okay, they look good already. Hey, they got sharp teeth on there. I like that. That's way better than these. See how these are all worn out? See how they get worn out when they're not very hard? These are supposed to be really hard so they don't wear out. The other thing is see how they close really nice and tight right there? See how these ones are all bent out right now? So they don't bite very well either. Okay, there you go. So there's our number right there, whatever that is. These are eight inches. Okay, let's go see what happens over here. Nice sharp pair of pliers. Maybe it'll work. Let's see if we get this piece of crap to come out of here. Uh, someone's out there making noise too. Uh, I'm on the video, leave me alone. There we go, we got part of it out. Got half a bolt out. You getting that mighty? Why don't you shut up? You're bothering my video. Oh, okay, okay, bro. Let's see. I was tapping in, seeing where you at. Okay, looks like we got all of that hole out of there. Right, I can dig it. Alright, so there is what's yeah, left of the hole. 
So it looks like all of that material is out of there. And I got interruptions up the ass. I gotta get back to work. Okay, we're back at it. So I had to go get the bolt, the broken bolt out of here. It was a pain in the butt. Kind of like that was. So now we're going to back to this. So we have a little bit of an oval hole right here, which is a problem. So when you stick this thing in the hole, like that, straights right there, and you see how it's way lower. So that low spot right there is a problem. So we're going to cut that out for uh, 5 16 which is what this is. That'll center the hole up slightly and make it a little bit rounder. And the whole stand's going to be lower, so I might have to slot out the hole in the plate a little bit. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to back on here. See if we get a drum water. I need one of these. So Dad's old drill worked good. straight in, it's going to average out the whole, is that straight? Hmm? As far as it goes. So is there something in there like a hard material? It looks like there's more broken stud in there. Yep. Another piece to go deal with. So that's the other piece that's in there when I drilled sideways, I'm guessing. So it looks like there might be a little chunk right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to knock that out with my prick punch. It's called a super punch. Appears to be some residue in there. This chunk fell out. Big piece came out, fell through my hand. Yep, there's a hole in there now. Okay, it looks like we got the residue out. Yep, you see now the hole looks like a hole in there now. That big chunk is not in there anymore. Still doesn't want to drill. Too much of a push. Alright, now I need a 516 drill. It's too thick back there to drill. build up on there. So this will drill the rest of the hole in there because it's real heavy on one side. See how bad it is now. So you can get all the way in there, it's pretty good, see. The further out you come, the worse it gets though. When you get out here, see it's pretty loose. 
So the holes obviously drop down a good, good sixteenth of an inch at least. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tap it with our tap coil, heat coil. Gonna put our put our tools away when we're done with them here. our helical tap. Go ahead and run that in there and let it get what it's going to get. And whatever's in the air is in the air. The good thing about a helical is a helical will span the, the gap in the low spot. I think I forgot to tap these holes out. I put my tap away already. Okay, let's switch over to our bottoming tap. That's where the front's been ground off. Right back. I didn't bring my paper. 